These egg bites are so great for quick paced weekday mornings when you just need something make ahead that you can grab and go eat on your way out the door. You're gonna make sure you have one rack placed in the lower third of your oven. And then on top of that rack, you're gonna add either a casserole dish or a roasting dish, and you're gonna fill that up about two thirds of the way with hot water. And then after you have that in place, you're gonna put your second rack in the center of your oven. The whole purpose in doing this is so that we can create a steamy environment in the oven to help those eggs cook really gently and almost create a little bit of like a sous vide, sous vide, <laughs> a sous vide in your oven. And now we're gonna take it over to the bacon. Okay, so like no bacon bits allowed <laughs> actually ever. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and dice up our bacon and fry it in the pan before adding it to our muffin tin. It's not a muffin tin, a muffin pan. Per egg bite, you're getting one whole egg and one whole piece of bacon. So these are super filling and they are going to give you the fuel to get through your morning and stay productive. You'll need 12 slices of bacon. I just like to lay them on a cutting board in stacks of four. Cut that bacon lengthwise. Then once you have all your stacks cut lengthwise, bring them together and just give them a good chop with a really sharp knife. You want a smaller dice, so just under a half inch dice is perfect. Now you're gonna add your bacon to a frying pan over medium high heat, and we're just gonna saute that until the bacon is crispy and cooked to your liking. Line a plate with paper towels, and then you'll remove the bacon using either a slotted spoon or a skimmer and place it right on the paper towels to drain and set that aside. If you're a big fan of porky goodness in the morning, be sure you check out our pigs in a blanket recipe next. These pigs in a blanket are made from scratch and they are one of my kids' all time favorite breakfast and snack recipes. On to the eggs. Crack 12 eggs into your blender and then to that, we're gonna add the cheese. Cottage cheese may seem like a strange ingredient in egg bites, but the cottage cheese is what helps these egg bites to have that silky, smooth, super soft texture, even when baked in the oven. So we are doing our best to mimic and upgrade the flavors of Starbucks egg bites. So you're gonna need both Gruyere cheese and Monterey Jack cheese. Gruyere cheese is a firmer, nutty, full flavor, savory cheese. Monterey Jack cheese is a little bit on the tangy side and it is an excellent melting cheese. These three cheeses combined make for a perfect mimic copycat recipe of those bacon grayer egg bites that you love. So in the blender goes two thirds cup of cottage cheese, a half cup of freshly grated grayer cheese and a quarter cup of freshly grated Monterey Jack cheese. And you're also gonna add a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Pop the lid on your blender and blend for about 15 to 20 seconds until it's looking real good and foamy. And we're gonna move on to our pan. My preference for making egg bites is to use a silicone muffin pan. Silicone pans make it so easy to remove your baked goods. And even though I'm using a silicone muffin pan, I'm still gonna take the extra precaution to just spritz that pan down with some nonstick cooking spray. Once your pan's ready, you're gonna add a generous tablespoon of that diced bacon to the bottom of each muffin well. Pour that mixture from the blender about three quarters of the way to the top, and then we're gonna transfer it to the oven Place that muffin pan on the center rack and you're gonna bake for 28 to 32 minutes. Your egg bites are finished cooking once they're no longer jiggly in the center or they register between 165 degrees and 175 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove them from the oven and allow them to cool for about 10 minutes. Then you'll just turn your pan over, pop those egg bites right out and enjoy. These egg bites are an excellent make ahead recipe as soon as they cool, you can put them in a freezer safe container and freeze them for days or even weeks ahead, or you can pop them in the fridge and reheat them over the next couple days.